Welcome to the Animal Health Clinic, the teaching facility for the Animal Health Technology and Veterinary Medical Assistant programs. This clinic is approved and inspected by the Alberta Vet Med Association and is where we run the majority of our labs in our programs. My name is Dr. Robin Rogers and we're just going to give you a tour of the facility so you can see where most of our student labs will take place. As part of our clinic, as soon as you walk in, we have three large exam rooms um, that the students will take histories and do physical exams on the client's animals that come in for our clinics. So this is the records room where all of our records are kept on our privately owned animals and our shelter animals. Here the students have access to computers uh, in order to enter in the records both manually and also in a computer format. So this space is our clinical pathology lab. This is where both first years and second year students will learn how to analyze blood, urine and feces. They learn to identify parasites and to run uh, blood and serum on our state-of-the-art chemistry analyzers as well. This is a multi-purpose lab that is used for many, many labs in both first and second year as well as the VMA program. This lab is where we uh, students learn how to wrap packs and prepare for surgeries. They use models to learn how to do dental prophylaxis. It is also equipped with oxygen. If necessary, we can run anesthesia labs in here as well. So it's really very much a multi-purpose room where students get to do a lot of, learn a lot of skills for the first time. Lab space C is our anatomy and physiology space. We have multiple skeletons of dogs, cats, horses, cattle, sheep, as well as lots of different other models. We also have uh, three large TV screens that allow us to focus in on very small objects so the entire classroom can see at the same time. We also have a Sindaver dog, which is an artificial model that can be used for our animal health tech students to also take heart rates and look at different parts of the anatomy as well. These are our dog kennel rooms. We have three separate rooms with eight runs each, which allows us to have dogs come in from different places, such as different animal shelters or privately owned dogs. The dogs are walked three times a day by the students, and we also have two play areas behind the clinic where the dogs can be taken out for a game of fetch. And we also have outdoor dog runs south of the clinic as well. This is what we call our sterilization room, and this is where we keep all of the supplies that are needed for our surgeries that are done in the student labs. So the Autoclaves that we have here are used to sterilize the instruments. We have autoclave uh, instrument cleaners, as well as all the other supplies necessary to make up the surgery packs and the gowns and the drapes. And then the surgery room is right adjacent to the sterilization room, so all of the supplies can be easily passed between the two rooms. So this is what we call our main treatment area, or treatment room A. This is where the students will prep for their surgery labs and also monitor anesthesia when they're first learning about anesthesia. We keep all of our uh, anesthetic equipment in this room, such as our anesthetic machines, anesthetic monitors, and warming devices for after surgery. In addition to this main treatment area, we have a smaller treatment room called treatment room B, where we will do smaller procedures or dental procedures. Both of these treatment areas are on, our, are on either side of our surgery suite, which allows access from either treatment room. The sterilization room is then also beside the surgery room, and this is kind of the core or the hub of the clinic where many of our second year labs take place. This is our dedicated dental lab suite where students learn how to do uh, dental x-rays. We have two dental x-ray machines and they also can perform dental prophylaxis or dental cleanings on their patients in this room. This is our diagnostic imaging or radiology suite. We do both indirect and direct uh, digital imaging as well. We have three ultrasound machines for a large animal and small animal therapeutic laser and a therapeutic ultrasound as well. We have two tabletop x-ray machines and one portable. So this is one of our cat kennel rooms. We have two cat kennel rooms which allow us to bring in cats from different areas. Each kennel room has nine cat condos in it and the students will care for the cats three to four times a day. We also have a cat playroom which is filled with toys and cat condos that the students can take the cats in for some additional enrichment and playtime. In addition, we have an isolation room if we have any cats that are sick, as well as any dogs that are sick. We have a separate facility for those animals as well. This is our equine space. This space allows us to bring in four horses at one time, if necessary for a lab. We also have equine models that allow students to learn how to give injections, as well as take blood. We have uh, stocks behind us where horses can be held and restrained for equine dentistry equine physical exams or equine ultrasound. We also have our portable digital x-ray machine for horses in this area as well. 
So this is our bovine handling area. This is where students will learn how to handle bovine handling and restraint equipment, as well as do physical exams on cattle or learn how to give injections. Um, there, we have three shoots in this facility, all in a row, which allows us to bring three animals in at one time. And it also lets us move the animals out independently. We also have non-slip flooring um, that makes it easier and safer for the students and the animals. And outside of this room, we have a crowding tub to make it easier to bring them in and holding pens outside as well. So the, the cattle that we use in the beef facility are all college owned animals and they are just brought over and can be used um, right in this facility without having to bring them in off farm, as well as the horses that we use in our equine area. They are also owned by the Lakeland College, so e very easily accessible. So a key component of our second year animal health technology program is participation in the student-led clinic management of the, this facility and indeed different parts of the program. So in second year, students can choose between team retail and marketing, which as we mentioned, runs the retail section at the front of the clinic and they organize in products that they think would be helpful or beneficial in terms of behavior or they do special orders and things that clients might be interested in. Team clinic organization really runs this clinic and they are kind of the, the control and the scheduling of what happens in the clinic and they look after the biosecurity and sanitation. And the third team is team public relations, which is really focused on promoting our animal health tech industry to the community as a whole, as well as the college. And they participate in things like senior enrichment visits by taking dogs and cats to the local senior homes by taking dogs into the schools for reading programs and by just generally trying to promote uh, what the benefit of animals are in society. Thank you for coming on the tour of our animal health facility that we are very, very proud of here at Lakeland College. It allows students on campus access to a, a working veterinary clinic as well as access to the animals on the farm. If you have any further questions during open house or after open house, please don't hesitate to contact one of our enrollment specialists. We'll put you in contact with one of our program team.